Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a freaking Winkly reading vlog. <laughs> okay, so hi. I have two books already to update you on of this weekly reading vlog. And then I need to finish making breakfast, which is 11 o'clock, so technically lunch fest. And, um, or brunch. The word that I do know well. It's like if there's not champagne involved, I'm like, <laughs> anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Here's what I found. So I finished last night Insomnia by Miss Sarah Pinbro. I did end up enjoying this. I gave it three and a half stars because I'm trying not to just like throw out four and fives because I'm realizing like that means something to me. So I'm trying not to throw those out, but I did enjoy this. This is about a woman who is a lawyer, high stress job. She's a mom, she's a wife. And she is terrified of turning 40 years old because when her mother turned 40, she did some awful thing to her and her sister that you don't know at the beginning of the book, but you slowly unravel that. And so she's very paranoid that that's going to happen. And then she starts to have trouble sleeping. So it's just kind of going through all of that. I liked the twist at the end, but there was another twist that I didn't love it was more about like why the mom did what she did and also how the people knew things like the way that they knew things the way that the universe was working i i like that concept but i don't like it in thrillers like i think that'd be a really cool concept in a lot of other books or if I was going into this like I would a Simone St. James book, then, you know, wouldn't be, wouldn't be anything. But liked it, three and a half stars. Then I also finished Guild last night, which is a fantasy romance about King Midas and his, like, favored consort, basically, who is completely covered in gold. Y'all, I was screaming at 2 a.m. last night, like, internally, because I'll be rude to my partner, but I was, like, screaming internally okay because <laughs> there was this so there's in this like world there's like six kingdoms or whatever and Midas wants to conquer because of course he does and there's this one the fourth kingdom that's so feared by all and it's like the king of rot he's evil grr um sound familiar Sarah Janet I was like please tell me First of all, where are the Fae? Fae are always in fantasy romance. Where are they at? We found them. Second of all, when there is a scene where the fourth kingdom's commander, the scariest man in all the land, came. I was like, make him hot. Tell me he's hot. He's been having a helmet on this whole time. Tell me he's hot. Girl, he's hot. I was like, oh. oh. This is why I love fantasy romance, because it's so damn messy. For what? And it's so predictable in the best way possible. Like, I love that I can predict that I'm going to love it. You know what I'm saying? So, I already downloaded the next book. I have a really deep-seated feeling I'm probably going to binge read this one because I also, I would, okay, see, here's the deal. I would like to keep reading this. I'm going to attempt to because I liked From Blood and Ash. I didn't like where the series went. And no, I don't care about a threesome. I'm not worried about that. That's not what I'm talking about. Live, laugh, love. I guess. I just didn't like plot-wise where it was going. Mainly, it was going downhill in the third book because I was asleep. But I really, really like where this book is going. It's just her writing style is taking me a hot minute for my brain cell to kick in. So it's going to be like this book. And then is it Gleam is the second book to Guild? Because I really liked it. I really liked it a lot. And so I'm probably going to read Gleam because it's easier to read. I like the writing style more. It's a much faster paced situation. Um, they're still long books, but the writing style itself is fast paced. Maybe not so much the plot, but the writing style feels very fast. And I'm watching Miss Emily D. Baker this morning as always because I am a law nerd, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just the plan for these two books today. Um, I'm going to do some reading sprints with Katie over on Patreon in about 50 minutes. So I am going to 
go make coffee and go make my croissant, which it's in the oven. Let's pray it's not burned right now because it's been in there a minute. And then I'm going to get ready for that. And I need to write a grocery list because we're going to go to the grocery store tonight as well. But that is that on that. So, yes, I will update you guys when I have read something, okay?
that I don't think I've shown y'all since it's been moved in here. But this is like her little home area. She's hanging. I put her, this is her flower plate. <laughs> so we have a bunch of weeds and they are like wildflowers. And whenever they bloom, I pick them and give them to her. Um, this is inside. She likes it dry in there. I need to get some moss so I can make it more humid for her. But uh, yeah. I just want to show you, it's coming along. This one, this plant, I have set up on a thing so that she can't eat these, even though she will definitely try, and she's probably looking at them right now. That's fine. I'll go get her lettuce to distract her. <laughs> but, yeah. It's coming along. I just need to get more plants. But I think she likes it. She, I found her in here. Also, she burrows underneath it. And you can see right there, and it's pretty cute. Hi guys, I am so excited to bring you today's sponsor section because it's freaking Thrive Market. And, oh, there's like a little logo right there. I love their package, but if you don't know, let me tell you, Thrive Market is amazing. Let's move you on closer so we can evaluate. Thrive Market is an online grocery shopping service, which like their whole mission is to bring you super healthy, good for you foods fit for any lifestyle at an affordable and reasonable price range. And it's super easy to use. It's super affordable. I really like it. It's especially good if you like very healthy, maybe you have a specific type of lifestyle like vegan, vegetarian, paleo, keto, any of those kind of things that you are looking for. Gluten-free for sure in this household. Oh my God, they have so many good snacks. I'm so excited to try. I did predominantly get a lot of like good foods and try to get more healthy snacks. So I'm excited to get into those and try them this week. So the whole point of this, like I said, is to make an affordable, healthy grocery store online. You get to shop thousands of organic and natural products below traditional retail prices, which we have been shopping typical retail for these things. And let me tell you, they are quite pricey when you get into it, but Thrive Market said nay nay. And if you find a better price somewhere else, which you know, sometimes that happens, Thrive Market will freaking match it. Are you kidding? That's amazing. So they've got like a crazy amazing section of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, wine, hey yo, and more. And like I said, the best part for me is that they have 90 plus lifestyles that you can choose from. I didn't even know there were that many lifestyles to choose from, but if you want to partake in one or you already do, they've got you. So like things that I do know this includes is vegan, gluten-free, which you know, we're trying to go a bit more vegan-ish, gluten-free for sure, not ish about that. And they also have like, like I mentioned, keto and paleo. So as far as like the membership situation goes, you got two options. You could do a $9.95 a month option 
or you could do the yearly membership, which is $59.95, which brings it to about five bucks a month, which is like such a good price. So definitely make sure that you click the link below in my description or go to thrivemarket.com slash Olivia Reads a Latte to get 40% off your first order and, and there's more, I know, right? A free gift worth $50. When you join Thrive Market today. So go ahead, go, 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 run, do it. And tell me what you get. As always, tell me what you get. Hello, reading vlog. How are you? I haven't talked to you guys in a freaking minute. So I have some random makeup things I wanna show you. Also I have some books. Um, have I read anything? We can talk about it really fast because not really. I started, is it Gleam? I think this one from the first one was Glint. No, it was Guilt. Oh, man, shiny objects. Am I right? Uh, I don't remember what the second one is called, but it's something along those lines. And, uh, you know, love it. I, I actually do really like it. I am enjoying it. I don't know why I can't help but picturing this general man. Uh, they pretty much described him as, like, emo fae. So I'm picturing Andy Biersack, who I was already picturing for Rune Dannon, because, guys, come on. Hello. Um, but, yeah, so I've been talking to a couple of my friends who also live in the States, and I feel like this week is just not an easy week to focus on anything. Like, I did some work that I had to do. I have to edit my TBR video, and that'll go up on Sunday. But, like, I am so mentally checked out that, like, every time I sit down to try to read, I just can't focus. So I set up an entire notion, <laughs> which I haven't set all of it up. I have, like, a couple pages that I'm not really sure how I want to track all of it yet but I'm getting there I'm excited about it I may do a notion tour on patreon as like an extra video or something because I don't really want to put it on YouTube because I feel like it's not that great like I basically Frankensteined a bunch of different like free templates people put out on Pinterest and stuff and then just switched it up and edited it to fit for me so yeah, but I am pretty excited about it, and I like that it's so customizable. You can just keep going and editing it as you go. You don't have to, like, I don't know. I really do like my hourly planner, but there's something about just having it on my iPad and having it on the go that I really enjoy, and I like the digital version more currently. I'm not tossing out my um, hourly planner, but, like, this is why. I don't, you know, like buy dated planners anymore because I just never know when I'm going to use them. The sticker planner is staying though because that's like back planning. That's just, I use that whenever I feel like it and it's like a scrapbooky memory keeping thing. But yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with Notion right now. That's what I've been focusing on. I've been trying to read, like I said, the only one I've read is that Kindle Unlimited book. I'm only 20% into it. Last time I read the first one, I think I got through it so quickly. Like, I mean... I did get through 50 pages really fast in one night, and like, that's what I do like about fantasy romance, because it reads very quickly, but I just can't focus on anything else. But I did get two, I got three books in the mail. I got the fairy loot box, and then I got the adult book, and then I got the Illumicrate book only. So, I'm going to show those, if you want to see it, here you go, if you don't want to see it skip a room. So the first one is the fairy loot book, which I've already picked up and I think I'm going to attempt to sit down and read it. I don't know how it's going to go. I might end up reading the book on my Kindle, but this looks really good. I'm very excited for it. And it is the City of Dusk. I don't know anything about it, but I just think that it is such a pretty addition. And of course, we got to look at what they got going on. And that spine is really pretty too. I just think it's a really beautiful edition. I like, I wish that they would do this with all their adult editions, put this little bookmark in. Because, I don't know, the older I get, the less I am remembering <laughs> to get a bookmark. And I kind of like that there's one just like attached to the freaking book. But, um, there's something about gods in here. There's four realms, life, death, light, and darkness, all converge on the city of dusk, ruled by the four noble houses of Nexus. And I think each house has like a god or something, because when I was looking through 
first of all, I know I'm gonna love a book when there's like a noble house breakdown. I always love those. But it has like the heads of house, offspring, blood, power, and then God. So, sure. Okay. But I do like the little, little, little bit that I've read of this so far. So, I'm, I want to pick that up. That is what I want to be reading, but I just don't know if I can focus. And then the Illumicrate book this month is Portrait of a Thief, which I have seen this author's sister posting a bunch on TikTok, actually. So, I think that's interesting, but I think it is a... Like, I think that this is a heist, but they're stealing back all of the stuff that, like, Western museums have stolen from other lands. Um, I know, like, the British Museum of whatever it is has, like, a ton of artifacts that aren't theirs <laughs> at all, and they won't give them back. I don't understand that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know a lot about this, but I did, I had, oh, she's from Houston, ayo. I had just added this to my Amazon list of, like, books I want to buy for my Kindle, um, I think three or four days ago. I didn't realize it was the book for this month, so that's awesome that it's here, and now I can read it if I would like to. And then I have the Fairy Loot box. I'm gonna be real. I am very, very over bookish boxes. Um, I signed up for the book only option from Fairy Loot as soon as that became available because I just am not interested in any of these items anymore. Like, it's really cool, don't get me wrong, but I just don't need them. And even if I'm like, oh my god, that one thing is really cool, there's like four other things that, what am I gonna do with it? I don't know, I have no idea, and I just don't need it. So we're not even gonna go through them. I don't even want to go through them. We're just going to look at the two books because there are two books this month. The first one is An Arrow to the Moon. I think it is such a pretty edition. I love when they do paperbacks with sprayed edges. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really like it. So there's that one. And then the main one is freaking Drop Dead Gorgeous. Like I can't even stand it. It's called Blood Scion. It is so pretty. Look at that. And those edges, those that deep blue, oh my god. But I love when books do this. The Illumicrate editions of House in the Cerulean Sea and The Whispering Door do this as well, where like it's just the cover on here and it's not like an interpreted cover, it is the cover. I just think that it looks so cool. So, so those are all the books that came in the mail. And I am currently waiting on, I finally ordered some candles from Jackie Ina's uh, brand and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try them so badly for so long uh, and they're so like aesthetic and I love the way that they look and I have this like want to use the jars when they're done for either like coffee or planting things because they just look so nice like they're so so I will I will show those probably tomorrow or maybe later today if they get here soon. Um, they're supposed to get here. Yeah, they're supposed to get here by 2.30. So we'll see. But the thing that I got from ColourPop is I ordered this before I watched all of those documentaries. So now I've, I gotta look at this. So I'm gonna look at it later because I cannot see the ingredients that well. But this is the lip oil duo and then let's see i don't see tonk on this one uh and then i got a lux gloss from the winnie the pooh collection this is clover honey and i just think it's a beautiful color to be honest i really do I'm really going back to 2016 days for me because I bought this and then I also bought uh, Kylie lip kits that are on the way because they were on sale. I'm like, why the heck not? Uh, but then I got a super shock cheek color that, let me see, oh, please, please. Okay, well, cross our fingers and hope to God, I guess. But uh, I just think it's a really pretty color. If I'm honest, it's that one. Don't know if you can see it. But I'm excited about it. And uh, I've been looking for new highlighters because I ran out. And this is the other thing I bought. So I've been wanting since, I mean literally probably 2016, when I kind of stopped paying attention to makeup in 2000. 
18 or so, but I have always wanted to build my own ColourPop eyeshadow palette because I really like their eyeshadows and they have the most beautiful glitters and everything. So I did. And now I'm like, oh my God, are these, can I use these on my eyeballs? <laughs> but I built a nude palette because I love nudes. They're my favorite. I love nudes and I love glitter. And so I built this one with all of that. And I just think it's beautiful. It very much is me trying to create a Huda Beauty palette without paying $80 for it. Because I think that those prices are crazy. They are crazy to me. Not saying it's not worth it. I don't know if it is. But I can tell you personally, I ain't gonna pay it. So, here we're at. But yeah, that's what I got for you today. I need to go eat something and then... Uh, check on Annabeth because it's been raining but I think the gutters are doing their job I'm just a hover mom I know and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna read and I'm either gonna attempt to read this or I'm just gonna read gleam shiny and so we're just gonna do a sharp objects playoff and just call it shiny objects because I, I why not um I don't know if I've talked about what it's about in this vlog but was it Guild is the first book and it's about King Midas having this consort that's like his chosen one but she's made of gold but not like in a metallic-y just in a, like a shiny shimmery kind of like Edward Cullen vampire glitter and um yeah that's where we're at I'm just on the second book and I don't really want to spoil anything but like kind of nothing happens in the first book if I'm honest it's really slow but it's still read fast and the second book was really good. But now my neighbor is mowing his lawn right next to my window. So I'm going to go and uh, do what I got to do. And I will talk to you later. So, bye. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day. Hello. Not sure if this is the best angle, but it's the angle we got. So, hi. How you doing? I'm feeling fallish today. It's not outside, but I am. So, I'm wearing fall colors. And I wanted to tell you about this Starbucks drink I just got. So, yes, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know, I said. I'm not getting Starbucks anymore. But sometimes, I want to try the TikTok drinks, you know what I'm saying? So, I did. And that is a... Grande iced chai latte with oat milk and two pumps of brown sugar. Y'all, it is so good. I got sweet foam on top. Not really necessary. Not gonna get it next time since you have to pay literally like an arm for it. So yeah, really good though. Highly recommend. Where are you going? Making points. Okay, so I got some books in the mail. I want to show you. So the first one I got is Book Lovers by Miss Emily Henry. I am planning to read this in a vlog with mayhaps the other books she's written. Then I got the new Casey McQuinston book. Very excited about this. I already read a little bit of it and it reminded me of a Julie Murphy book, which I freaking adore that woman. So already here for it. And the cover is just gorgeous. And the I love it. I love it. And then the next one is The Agathas, which I actually started reading last night and I'm really enjoying it. This is a murder mystery and it's about two, well, we get two points of view. One is Alice, who is like one of the most famous it girls in this town. And then we get Iris, who is like other side of the tracks, that kind of, what is that called? Trope? Or whatever a friendship I don't know if they're just friends I think they're just friends as of now though so Iris is tutoring Alice that's where we're at Alice broke up with her boyfriend and then her best friend got with her boyfriend oh, the D and Alice disappeared for five days no one knew why no one knew where no one knew what who when where how why so now Baruch who was Alice's ex-best friend and now ex-boyfriend's girlfriend disappears and I'm pretty sure she's dead uh and so I'm I'm thinking that Alice and Iris are going to team up to solve the freaking murder and there's a lot of mention of Agatha Christie which makes sense because but I, yeah I'm really enjoying this I'm doing sprints right now so the first sprint I just did my makeup 
got my life together and got dressed and then now I'm gonna start reading this or I may read like just listen to an audiobook because I'm having a hard time focusing but that's where I'm at now I will update when I get further into my books uh, we are gonna go see Doctor Strange tonight we're gonna go to dinner we have reservations at like 4 45 I think and then we have the movie at 8 very excited to go see it so obviously y'all are coming with me and i am that person that gets to the theater early every time mainly because this one has a bar so even if i get there too early never too early for a margarita okay so yeah that's that's the old plan there so i'm gonna go get back to work go listen to something and then i will talk to you guys later Hello. Uh, it's Saturday. I saw Doctor Strange. I'm still processing how I feel, but we went to Target, as you saw. And I'm gonna show you what we got there. Cause I got some stuff for the living room, and then some stuff for the kitchen, and then some stuff for the office. Um, I have no reading updates for you though. We're doing great. We're doing, who said this was a reading vlog? Not, not me or the thumbnail or the title or the tags. So first we got this. So I could organize all my straws, the reusable straws that we have. This is boring. Uh, we got two shelves that are these floating shelves that we're gonna put up over that chair over there, staggered to add some decor. Then we got new mason jars for like our cups and stuff, um, just cause we needed new ones and I broke a lot in the move. We're not gonna talk about it. These will change your life. Highly, 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 highly recommend them. I decided to move my desk here so that I have this as the background. And when I'm sitting, it's like, boom, books. And then also tortoise if it's raining outside. Um, but yeah, so that's what I put there. The closet's a mess. We're not going to look at it. But that's a little update to the office that I got that chair. That's not a chair. That's a tree. I got that tree. And I love it. Do you love it? It doesn't matter because I do. I don't know what kind of tree it's supposed to be. It's a ficus. Oh, ficus. I don't know. I think it looks really good. Um, the only thing is I wish it was taller. I forgot that I got those. But it's fine. It's fine. We love her anyways. Maybe I'll get a stand for her. I don't know. But I need. I want more greenery in here. I want to get some ones up there. Oh, hello, sir. I want to get some here. I might put shelves here to put leaves. I don't know. But I think it looks quite nice. Don't you, Jake? Yes. Now let's go actually read so we cannot be a posing booktuber. So we also got this mug for my mom and then this card as well because it looks like our backyard. And then we got plates that finally match. Imagine. Imagine doing, oh, and this, but I don't cook so I don't care. But that's it. That's the haul. Katie Coulson who? Katie Coulson who? It's me, I'm Katie Coulson. Hello.